Third down and five. Ehlers zips it over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Jones catapults into the end zone. The tight end and Ehlers all fired up. They've got good weapons. So just like that, the Monarchs are in the ECU red zone. Pass a bit behind the receiver. Jennings makes the catch and he's in. Touchdown. Oh, what a grab by Ali Jennings. First and goal from the one. Here is Mitchell, and he dances his way to six. Dominion has. First down and ten. Double clutching, now firing, wide open, touchdown. It's Jennings again. The running back on this third down play. Little shovel to Harris, stretches the football across. A flag comes in, touchdown signaled, East Carolina. Whole game, so they've got to find a way to get him more involved. Yeah, only three touches, deep shot downfield, looking for Jennings, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Julius Wood, and the game's first takeaway for the Pirates. Taylor's on first down, good cut. There's the explosion of Mitchell, and there goes Keaton Mitchell. A foot race, Mitchell to the 30. They're not going to catch him. 81 yards, touchdown. Great push up front. All five guys working together, and this is what makes Mitchell so special. A winning quarterback who has brought life, started midway through the campaign last year. Here he's hit, the ball is loose, recovered by the Pirates. It's Lampley with the recovery. Lewis with the strip sack, the true freshman Lampley with the recovery, and now they go to Rajay Harris. The lightning and thunder combination, and East Carolina pulling away late. Especially in the first quarter. Only five carries, and I know this ball game's gotten away from them, but he's got to be one of the main pieces of the game plan. Wolf on the corner route. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown. He had time to throw, and it's a hat trick for Ali Jennings. He has number three. This was not an easy night to be a spectator. We had heavy rain throughout a good chunk of the day, but this loyal fan base in Greenville they weren't going to miss their beloved Pirates tonight. And on a soggy Saturday, East Carolina bounces back from their week one loss.